Hello there. Okay, we're not going to discuss, we just did a text only. We're not going to discuss the image only. That's the main reason I didn't go on is submit and get code. You can hit the back button and change your mind about things. You keep hitting back and then hit back one more time. And now I can decide to go image ads only instead. I was doing text ads only. I'll do image ads. Okay. So if you hit continue, the first thing you'll notice is that the um, sizes that they allow you are different and uh, there's fewer sizes available and I made a little comparison chart over here in Evernote so I can share this with you and make it clear you see the text only sizes had the same number of recommended sizes your, your normal sizes but when you get into the uh, other sizes they give you one smaller horizontal for text only one smaller vertical and a couple extra squares uh, for the text only than they give you for image only. Now one thing that kind of puzzles me about this, since there's fewer uh, image only sizes, um, this would to me say that these are the only sizes that they make available to publishers who are making the image ads. And yet, if I go back down here and hit the back button and select instead text and image ads and hit continue, the odd thing is that look they give you the same options as they give you with a text only ad which is like implying that there are image ads available for this size and this size and these two sizes even though it's according to this chart they don't even make those sizes available to the the authors of the ads um, for the image ads well I haven't found out what the answer is to that one yet I have no idea but uh, that's probably buried in the dock somewhere. But in the meantime, let's just go back to the image only ads. And the only difference here is that the, uh, let's pick the 120 by 600 for the skyscraper again for a sidebar. And you got, um, I may as well go through some of these sizes. You got your default palette, which is looks like that. Open air is basically the default palette with no border. Seaside adds a border and has some blues in it. Shadow has a dark border and a light gray. Your blue mix is a dark blue and a lighter dark blue. Ink is a black with white text. Graphite is a gray with a very mild border. Now you can change any of these uh, like say you did FFF here. Look, it turns into a blue. Let's say I did the reverse, FFFCCC. By golly, it turns to a yellow. Well, there's no way you're going to guess your colors with the hexadecimal system. To explain hexadecimal, they're using the digits 0 through 9 plus A, B, C, D, E, and F in order to count up to 16 to have basically, instead of a base 10 system, it's a base 16 system. So you can have numbers like 1F, okay? Uh, F would be the number 16. You get what I'm saying? Well, actually, F is the number 15, yes. And because uh, you count up to 15, then 1 and 0 would be 16 because you'd have one full series. All right, so there, there are tools that allow you to even use an eyedropper on an existing color and it will tell you what the hexadecimal value is of it and you can then derive that from say from a design uh, element that's on your page already and you could then use that number in for the background for instance say I have a sidebar and it already has a color in the sidebar and I want to match that uh, of course I could do that with the open air I suppose I think that that's just clear no it's definitely a color a background FFF that means that background is white so if I want to match that background with my existing background I could find out what that was and um, and match it okay like say it was that um, that yellow color I could make it so that this matches it and again with with no border well in this case a white border so I would want the border to match again also so you'd want to put in change both the border and the background in order to make it match your sidebars color Okay, and then you would, um, and that's true for text or image only ads. 
select your fonts. You've got your banner. Rounded corners I've got here. Let's say I would go with square corners instead. You see it's just sharp squares. Show the public service ads or non-Google ads or fill the space with a solid color again. Then you hit continue. Select a channel or create a new channel to describe this. Hit continue. That's if you want to use channels, but I advise that you do try to use channels. And then you give it an appropriate name. In this case, this one's an image only, isn't it? And it's 120 by 600 in front of page one. So this time I will hit submit and get code so you can see what happens when you try to edit one of these.